Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement having. When a man is homeless or living in indigency or living in the traveling mode because of cybercrime, identity theft, police brutality on his body and his private parts and other things about his life and all the different fraud that people have committed on his life, he has the right to remain safe. You see, one kind of standard in America is that we have the right to safety, that we have the right to personal safety, and personal safety is what we have the right to. Personal emotionality is not something we always have the right to. People can be emotional, they can lie, steal, and cheat in those emotions, but that is not the same as personal safety. Personal safety says that there's a real, realistic, honest threat. But personal safety can also be abused and literally be mused by someone who lies, steals, and cheats. In life, we have the moment of time to speak the truth, and that people play into our lives and play out of our lives and make these ridiculous comments about how people come and go in our life, and that is not totally true. The Lord God above allows us to have interactions and interpersonal relationships that are supposed to teach us something, that are supposed to help us grow, that are supposed to help us learn to react, and are supposed to help us learn to communicate better. When people run away from their responsibilities in relationships, what they're saying is, I don't have time for this. But frankly, that's not true. God gives you all the time in the world to make yourself better. God gives you all the time in the world to make up in relationships that you've abused. God gives you all the time in the world to do what is right by Him, not by what is right by you. In the world of men, many people, many women, many children like to think that whatever they've been taught about the world is true. Something we absolutely learn by looking around the world is that what we think is true for our life may not be true for another person's life. A prime and simple example is how we eat in America. It is impolite, according to old school social graces, to pick up a plate and eat from it. However, if I travel in Japan, I am expected to remove my plate, usually pick it up to hold food above it so that I don't make a mess on someone's kotatsu or someone's tatami mats. And that is true. I recall coming home from Japan and my father said, Why are you picking up your salad plate like that? And I simply said, Because this is how we eat overseas. And with that, he was okay with that because we were simply home for a visit. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth that what we feel is true in our world of America may not be true in the world of Sweden or Scandinavia, where they have an advancement in psychology that we do not. They also have a much healthier nation and that people are not marvelously, horrendously overweight like we are. So in life we have to decide, do we know everything that God has made in this world or are we blasphemous and say that God has not made that in this world? You see, the marvelous people in the religious right who think that they have the right to play into people's lives and lie in their records, steal them out of their possessions, and literally ruin their relationships with utter nonsense. You see, where your life begins and ends is totally with you. What you have the right to with your regard to your body is totally protected underneath privacy rights and medical rights and HIPAA rights. The problem we have today is that there are marvelous bastards of a law enforcement network that think they have the right to walk into your hospital, walk into your clinic, and pick up records that belong to you without your consent. And a lot of hospitals today, including IU Hospital in Indianapolis and others like OSF across the nation, are basically saying that we have the right to photograph you, videotape you, utilize your shit to train our people, but that's not true. There is no opt-out option, which means your privacy rights are completely abused. In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth that we are not God, and we do not have the right to pretend that we have the right to interpret God. But what I do know about Jesus Christ, what I do know about the Holy Ghost, what I do know about God, what I do know from reading the Bible, the Quran, and other works on God by far more famous people, more learned people than me, is that God knows what he makes. 
And if God did not like something that was going on, that God has the right to take people back to God, which is exactly what's happening during this time of COVID. At the same time, we know that God is sometimes indiscriminate, which means he's not discriminating, and some good people are often lost to pandemics and end epidemics. But at the same time, the point that I'm making is that God has the right to do the taking, and if you think you do, you are out of the making of God. The most fundamental law of the Ten Commandments is thou shall not kill. The second one is thou shall not steal. And when you do anything in your mind to harm someone's life and their soul and the path God has on their life for learning, growing, and, and becoming closer to the Lord in their life, you are out of control. The Lord has said thou shall not steal because people have the right to their personhood, their paperwork, which is their legal documentation for their entire life, singly as their own and they openly have the right to their possessions the things that they have earned from their own revenue sources and gained from gifts from other people who are prompted by the Lord to give them those things in life we have moments of time to speak the truth of America and the truth of America is what kind of American citizen are you are you someone that aids and abets abuse of laws and abuse of people and physical and sexual assault, emotional, psychological uh, terrorism, and intellectually, intellectual property, copyright law uh, invasions that interfere with God's plans for different minds and different hands that he gifts that knowledge to use. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about Jesus Christ, who died allegedly on a cross, according to the tales of old, for everyone's sins. But at the same time, we do not have the right to use him and his blood as an excuse for abusing other people with our hands.